In this video, we'll be making our first mod. As you can see, it's going to be pretty basic, just a full grass node and recipe. The first step is to create a new directory in our mods directory for all the mod files. We're going to call our first mod grass, so we'll create a directory called grass. This mod is going to be very basic, so we're only going to need two files, init.lua and mod.conf. You can create these in the file browser or in the code editor. I'm going to open the project directory in Pulsar and create the two needed files. Init.lua will hold the actual code for the mod. Mod.conf stores some configuration data that tells Luanti about the mod. Every mod will need, at very least, these two files. We'll take care of the mod.conf file first. Luanti expects a few different bits of data, a name, title, description, dependencies, and an author. The name is the internal name of the mod. All nodes and items will be named with name colon something. The title is a human-friendly name and will be displayed in the mod selection dialog in Luanti. For this mod, we'll just use grass for both. The description is a short sentence explaining what the mod is, does, adds, etc. Dependencies tell Luanti what your mod needs or can use. We'll cover them more in a later video. This mod will only depend on default. Lastly, the author should be set to your content database username if you have an account there. Now, on to writing some actual code. We'll start with registering a new node called grass grass. Remember, every node in this mod needs to start with grass colon. The description will be shown when hovering the node in most inventory screens. The tiles are the textures that Luanti will render on the faces of the node. If all the faces have the same texture, we only need to list the texture once. We'll cover this more in a future video. Groups can do many different things. In this case, the crumbly group is needed for tools, so Luanti knows what tools should be able to break the node. The soil group is used by other mods, but we'll just include it for compatibility. When we break this node, we don't actually want to get back the full grass block, but rather dirt. So we'll tell the engine that on breaking, the node should drop default dirt. We can do a lot more with the drop table, but we'll cover that more in another video. This is a really basic node registration. Nodes can have callbacks so that they're more interactive, but for the time being, this will suffice. Right now, there is no way to craft this node. We can get it via creative or using the give command, but it would be really nice to be able to craft it. So let's add a craft recipe. This is structured a bit different than the node registration. We use an output to say what the node or item is that's created. The recipe is a table and the default craft grid is a three by three square. So we have nine items max we can use. We need to know the item strings for each ingredient. A blank entry just means the inventory slot should be empty. How do we know the item strings though? There are many different items in a game and it would be nearly impossible to ever remember all of them. The easiest way is to open Luanti, go into settings, click on the user interfaces heading on the side and check the append item name option. Now, if we launch a world with creative enabled, we can search for any item and hover on it in inventory to get the item string. Some inventory mods will also give us this data without enabling this option. We want to use grass and dirt to make the full grass block, but there are several different stages of grass in the game. Thankfully, they all drop the same item. So we can just use default colon grass underscore one in the recipe. Our recipe will be one dirt in the center with one grass on top, right, bottom, and left. Launching a world with our new mod enabled, we can dig up some dirt, collect a bit of grass, and craft our new node. Let's add another recipe just for fun. This recipe will just be one dirt and one grass. Our table doesn't need to have two rows of blanks, so we can put the entire recipe on one line. We'll just set our output to be default dirt underscore with underscore grass. Mods can make recipes for nodes that other mods provide. We just need to make sure that the other mods we want to use items from are listed in our dependencies in the mod.com file. Well, that wraps this lesson up, but before you go, homework, add the other grasses to this mod so we can craft full grass nodes of all the grasses and make craft recipes for them as well. There's a link to a completed mod on the related webpage.